Welcome back everyone. You may be having some issues with your iPhone or for some reason 5G is just not working. Now the first thing I would recommend doing is to make sure you even have 5G enabled. So in order to do this what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings. Once open you want to go ahead and make your way over to your cellular connections right here and you want to go under cellular data options which is right here the second option and you want to go ahead and click on voice and data. So what happens here is that you can go ahead and change this from LTE to 5G auto to 5G on. Now what these options are are essentially enabling 5G. So if your iPhone supports 5G, then you will basically be able to connect to those servers. Now you may be in a situation where 5G doesn't even show up or maybe you only see LTE, but in that case, that showcases that you have a device that does not support 5G capability. So with that being said, that is one of the most important things to keep in mind. You can't go and enable 5G on a device that doesn't support it. So that is pretty much the first thing to keep in mind. Now let's say you do have a device that supports 5G like an iPhone 13 Pro or something, and let's say you do see these options, but it's just not working, you're still continuously stuck in LTE, well, in that case, that may mean the area that you're in actually does not support 5G or maybe you don't have any 5G towers. So if you're in the middle of nowhere and you're consistently on LTE or something, that just means that the area that you're in, maybe it doesn't have 5G support just yet, but it'll probably happen over time. But as of right now, it may not be there, which is totally okay. It's an ongoing process, but that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind. Another thing you can do possibly to fix this is to actually update your device. So what you can do is you can hop out of here you want to make your way back over to your regular settings. You want to go under general, which is right here. You want to click on software update, and you just want to see if there's an update available for your device. If there is, as you can see for this one, all you have to do is go ahead and download and install this update, type in your passcode, and you should be able to install this update, and you want to see if that fixes it then. Most of the time this may end up fixing it, especially if you're on a very outdated version of software. Sometimes these updates fix it, and that's really pretty much it. If 5G still isn't working, you can try restarting your phone, you can you know, even try taking out your SIM card and putting it back in, but ultimately it probably just means that the area that you're in doesn't have 5G support yet, and you're pretty much just going to have to wait for it. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.